What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me. It's been a while. I got a lot to catch you guys up on. I'm snapping my hands like this and I don't know why. A lot of great things been happening. The first of all is my iPhone 10. We will do a full review on how I feel about the phone. It's only been a couple days. So I can't really give a fair review on it and tell you guys how I feel about it. But I will shortly. And of course this is replacing my old iPhone 6s plus um, 128 gig this is an iPhone X 256 gig so I can tell you right off the bat I'm gonna love the fact that it has so much more storage capability than this one so I'll be editing a lot more videos on my phone and doing a lot more things along with getting a lot of new and exciting attachments for this excellent camera that this iPhone X has. So the first thing I want to show you guys today is I got my package in the mail. I've been babysitting this phone for so many days now. Actually, it hasn't been that long. It's been like maybe like three days since I've had it, but I've been babying it because I got my case. I was waiting until I get my case. I didn't want to put a big bulky life proof case like I had on this phone. I've got several life proof cases cases here life proof thanks a lot you guys saved my behind if anybody wants to get a life proof case I highly highly recommend them they have a great guarantee on all their cases so I highly recommend them if you want if you're hard on your phone like I am but for this um, new iPhone I wanted to I, I love the way it looks so much that I just wanted to keep it nice and keep the appeal of it so I got something different and I'm gonna open it up I'm not gonna do an unboxing or anything like that. I'm just gonna open it up for you guys. Maybe I'll do a close up of the, the thing itself. Okay, here it is right here. Look at this thing. It's called the Defense and it looks so good. It looks so nice. Let's open it up. But uh, look at my workstation here, guys. I got so much crap on here. Why don't I like Organize this or straighten it up or get rid of some of this crap before I do this unboxing. Yeah, let me clean it up Okay, now that we got that mess all situated, let's get right to it shall we? Let's go. Okay So this is my iPhone 10 and right now I'm using it to monitor this video Let me power down the screen so we can pay attention to what's going on over here. This is the defense Lux case. We're gonna open it up. I'm excited about this case because um Typically, I just pick cases. Sorry. Typically, I just pick cases that uh that are gonna like um, protect my phone. But I want to pick a case this time that's actually gonna look good. And I think this case, you just um, stick your phone inside of it. Yeah, it's got the leather thing right here. And the reason why I picked this case is because I watched this drop test video that this guy did, I forgot his name, excuse me, I'll give you a, a shout out in the description of my video so you guys can check out that drop test video with all the different cases that this awesome YouTuber uh, dropped and this is one of the ones that he recommended that you get for your iPhone 10. So I'm just wiping it off before I put it in the case, wiping it off, brand new, shiny glass back as you guys can see in the case just pop it in there I believe and this is it that's that's the protection I don't know what I was expecting but for some reason I expected it to be better than this but um yeah I guess that's it I don't know why I even made a video out of this like it was gonna be so yeah a lot's been going on. My home team, the Philadelphia Eagles, won the Super Bowl, and there was massive celebrations out in these Philadelphia streets. Yeah, so as you can see, everybody was out having a good time. Philadelphia came together, and New England Patriots, sorry, maybe next year, but you guys got enough Super Bowl rings, so. For the new subscribers, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you so much 
for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to my wonderful channel. I just want to take a moment to um, reflect on the year that I just had last year and where I am right now in my uh, headspace. Last year was really, really crazy for me. It took like a whole, I, I went through a whole turning point in my life where everything that I was used to like got turned upside down. But now I'm at a point where, I don't know, I've learned to embrace what I'm passionate about and I'm getting joy and excitement out of doing what I'm passionate about. And I wanna tell everybody that um, no matter what you're going through, you gotta like figure out what you're passionate about and what you love to do. And you gotta like embrace that and hit that running and give that 100% of your effort and your time and nurture and cultivate what it is that, that, that you're passionate about. Right now, I just wanna like help people um, figure out what it is that they're good at, what it is that they're great at. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that. The thing that comes to my mind right now is creating a series of vlogs um, and tutorials that like will help people with their skills and like doing this thing. Cause I know this vlog thing is, is growing and a lot of people are starting to do it now. So I wanna like spill the beans and give you guys like insight on what I do to make my stuff better and what you guys can do to make your stuff better, whether it be cameras, lenses, angles, lighting. And I think I'm gonna start off with lighting because lighting is everything. And I don't necessarily take advantage of my lighting skills to, the, to its full capabilities all the time. So I think I'm gonna start off with lighting and I'm gonna start off with reviewing my Generate Spectra 14 LEDs with you guys. So let's review these lights. Wait. Before I review the lights, let me tell you guys the reason why I'm making a second video about lighting and stress the importance of lighting when you're trying to do video. Lighting is so crucial when you're shooting video. Like, lighting can evoke emotion, lighting, can, lighting sets the scene, and most of all, lighting helps your lens if you don't have the budget for a great lens if you're if your scene is lit great then it will compensate for your for your lenses yeah anyway just know that you should light every every time you're shooting if you want to create uh, a, a a great shot and if you want your camera to function at its maximum capacity lighting can make a scene look <laughs> Spooky, mysterious. You can color your lights to create different effects. Depending on what kind of look you're going for, it can really set tone. In case you haven't noticed yet, I really enjoy dark lighting. It's fun because it's uh, not that difficult to do actually, if you have the right lights, but it also creates like a really, really cool, intense effect. Kind of like this. So I really hope by now you're understanding the importance of lights and why I'm gonna review some lights with you guys. Now let me light myself back up. As you can see, the lights aren't the same as they were when I first started the video. I can make them the same, make them brighter, but I just like to play around with my lights a lot. So you're gonna get a lot of different scenes. While you're watching these videos, subscribers, I'm gonna try a lot of different things with you guys. So just bear with me here. So, Generate Spectra 14 LEDs. These lights retail for $249 each, and I own two of them. That's kind of a steep price to pay, but I really like these lights because they give off a lot of lights and they're LEDs, so they don't get hot. One thing I must caution you though, um, the first time, the first one that I bought, the adapter I think was faulty or Generate had a specific type of adapter that they sold with the light, that they uh, gave you in the package with the light and my adapter went bad. I didn't have the adapter, um, I didn't have the light turned on but I had it continuously plugged into the wall while the light was off 
and I think that made the adapter go bad. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if that was the same adapter that came with the light, but um, I do know that that adapter went bad and the second light I bought and the new adapter that I bought with the light was totally different than the one that originally came with the first generation Spectra that I bought. So just keep that in mind. So right now, when I'm done using these lights, I un unplug the, um, the uh, power adapter because I don't want to take the risk of the power adapter going bad again, even though it's a totally different power adapter. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a lighting situation with the generate spectra and the light directly next to the camera at its lowest setting let's turn it up to its highest setting this is the generate spectra directly next to the camera once again with the light at its highest setting aimed towards me you can see that the light is bouncing off of me and actually not bouncing off me it's directly on me therefore creating a shadow on the wall so this is not ideal but it could work if you want uh, a scene like this um you can see me i'm clear i'm crisp so yeah this is a uh, with the generate spectra directly next to the camera right here camera here generate spectra right here i'm gonna move it back a bit to try to like drop the shadow let's see Okay, so it's about, if I had to say how many feet it is, it's about six feet behind the camera. Um, I wouldn't light like this. It's dark, but um, I like lighting dark, so maybe you could use this for a scene. I don't know what kind of scene you would shoot with this, but you can get creative. That's the fun part about lighting. Now, let's put it next to me and see on the... Uh, right side of me which is the left side of you let's try it out generate spectra directly next to me arm's length not even arm's length this is how long far i can push out my arm before i touch the light so it's right here directly next to me at its lowest setting this is a pretty cool shot you can use this shot in um like a mystery scene or a scene right here as a matter of fact i think i'm gonna use this for Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'll use it when I'm talking to you guys in a future vlog. You'll see the shot again because I like the way um, the effect that this is giving me right here. You can put another one on the other side or diagonal um, to fill it a little bit and still keep it dark. And I said I like dark shots. So, hey, here. So let's turn it up brighter. So this is the generate spectra at its brightest setting directly next to me again, just like it was. Um, uh, I could use this. You could actually see the light field a little bit directly next to me like the haze from the light which is cool that's another cool effect that you could use i don't know it's like a, it's like a lens flare or something like that so yeah um you could use this and once again you can add another light right here to uh fill it you know what i mean if you had two of them which i do so um let me move this light back a little bit so you guys can have another comparison about I'll move it back about six feet. It's a little bit more than six feet. I'd say this is about two arms length away from me. Um, eight feet away from me, I'm gonna say. Guesstimate. So this is generate spectra at its brightest setting away from me, about eight feet. So this is what you're gonna get. Generate spectra ILD14. But my favorite thing to do with generate spectra LED14 is to bounce it off of the ceiling off of white ceiling and have the light bounce back onto you. Um, I haven't tried this with what just one light, but let's try it with just one light at its brightest setting to see what it looks like. I normally extend my um, my uh, light stand all the way up so it's closer to the ceiling and have it bounce up and back onto me. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so look, we're playing with lights. This is a cool effect. Look, it's, it's like extended up. Um, I would have to say it's about from the ground it's about uh seven feet in the air almost to the ceiling and you can move this light around to see what it looks like you can aim another light on you you can put a backlight on you know like so to create a little effect like that but yeah i'd have to say overall i, I kind of i like this shot you can put a full a fill right in front of you to uh give your face some light so yeah that's the let me turn this off because we're just doing a generate spectra so let me uh angle this light 
differently at the ceiling to see what you what we can get. You can even bounce it off the wall. We can bounce off the black back back wall. Let's let's angle it a different direction in the ceiling and see what we get. Okay, so not too different. Depending on where you bounce the light from, it's like the before was aimed directly to the ceiling. Now it's like uh, about at a 60 degree turn. Um, no, that's not a 45. It's 45 would be straight ahead. But yeah, it's uh, at about, if you had to give it an hour, I'd say it's about at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, it's about 9, nine o'clock. So uh, aimed at the ceiling, bouncing off of me, and bouncing on to me. So you can see how you can get the light to be soft when it's not aimed directly on you. Another dark shot, it's aimed towards the wall I can angle it differently and you can see the light start to creep up on me I can aim it at the back wall if I want to light the back wall and then I can have you know if I want to highlight something or something like that and then I can have like a full a fill coming in here let's do that I'm gonna get the other generate and have it come on me let's do that okay see this is a clean light setup I got the one light aimed at the wall and this light aimed towards me. So what that's doing is before, and I actually I have this one at its highest setting. That generate aimed at the walls at its highest setting. And this generate is medium setting because I don't want it too bright to overexpose me. I just want it to fill me. So before um, I had it at its brightest setting and it was causing a shadow. Like if I turn this off right now, I'm quite sure I'm gonna get a shadow, let's see. See, I got a shadow on the wall. So you aim the light at the wall to get rid of that shadow and aim this light at me to um, not overexpose me, but to color me, to have me just, just, just bring, give just enough light on me. And it's not going to put that shadow on the wall because I am blowing out the wall with this light. Medium setting to light me nicely, highest setting to blow out the shadow that was causing the uh shadow on the wall so this is I, I actually like this lighting i might start lighting myself like this from my vlogs um so you, you guys can see the possibility here and then you can get gel filters and drop them on top to uh color the lights let me put a gel filter on so you guys can see what i'm talking about first of all before i put a gel filter on let me show you what a gel filter is okay so this is a pack of filters right here you guys can buy I'll put the link in the description and you got diffusers, you got like blues and purples, you got like yellows and greens, you got like reds and all types of different colors that you can put on top of the lights to just change the color of the light. Like, let's just try one. Look, boom, boom, try it on here, let's put it on over the top. And see that changes the color of the light that's hitting the wall. And what you can do is you can get in my little handy dandy kit with all my doodads and knickknacks. We got some regular old fashioned clothes pins. And also you got some heavy duty clothes pins right here. Um, these are for more, uh, if you want to, but you don't, we don't need these. I could just use one of these. Actually, let me get two because I'm going to do something fancy for you guys. Look what you can do with gel filters. It's just trippy. It's just different. Everybody likes different. See, this is dope. You see what I'm saying? So, like, you got, like, this color and you got this color and it's like, Whoa, what's he doing? You're like, oh, I don't know, what kind of trick is that? Is that After Effects? No, it's just gel filters. So you guys can buy these gel filters. Um, they're I'll, I'll leave a link in the description and you guys can just color your lights, you know? Filters, they're nothing but filters that you use the clothespin on. You got green if you wanna get your Incredible Hulk on, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, so. I like this. It's cool. Cool. Santana. I'm going to call this video lights, filters, and iPhones. No. I'm going to call this video iPhone case and 
light filters. Light filters and iPhone case. I don't know. So what I did with this one is I just turned that light that was facing the wall down and I just put a different color filter on this one and kept it at the same intensity, which is halfway. So you guys can see the fun that you can have with lights. What if I turn this all the way up to full blast? Let's see. You can spend hours lighting a scene and trying to get the mood right and creating different types of effects with these lights. Look, I can ILED six on them. Randomly just sitting there, throw a gel over top of that, add some more color, you know what I mean, create some more interesting different color scenes and stuff like that with these crazy gels. So yeah guys, like, you know, once you get your lights, don't just light the scene, you can color the scene too. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> Playing with the lights, put a filter on them. Put a filter on them, like, uh, 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 put a diffuser, diffuser. Okay guys, that's it for now. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe link and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. For my new subscribers, once again, I'd like to thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this journey that I'm taking in my life and hey, I'm out of here, man. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at King Allen Alexander. Link will be in the description. Link will be right here also. And I'm out. So, I'll at me when you see me in the club. Mm. 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 I just had to jack the swag for a second. Nope. This one drastic. This one spastic. Mm. I gotta. Ooh. Breaker, breaker. Breaker, breaker. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Breaker, one nine over copy. That's right, I